is Chansey. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk all about Hairfinity, the hair supplement that everybody seems to be talking about. Is it really worth it? I'll let you know. Keep watching this video. Uh-huh, honey. I heard about Hairfinity, like probably most of you, on Instagram. If you want Instagram, there are tons of girls posting before and after pictures of these hair supplements. What happened to their hair, the changes that it went through after they started taking them. People were talking about they got results within two, three weeks, months, like a year, having all this growth. It seems to be the hottest trend. Even celebrities are getting in on it, like Kim Kardashian, Toya Wright, and more. So I was wondering, does this really work? I had a bald spot. I know what you're thinking, a bald spot. Yes, a bald spot. Now, till this day, I don't know where this bald spot came from. It just appeared out of nowhere. It was like one day I woke up and I had a bald spot. I don't have perm in my hair. I don't use any harsh chemicals. So I know it wasn't from like a bad perm or anything like that. I do get my hair blown out at hair salons from time to time, but I don't really recall um, looking in the mirror that day and thinking that a chunk of my hair was missing. I think it was something that was gradually happening over time and I'm not sure why. Maybe I neglected that area. Who knows? So I tried everything in my power to get my hair back in that particular area. I tried um, but, uh, castor oil. I've tried every type of oil you can imagine. I was online doing readings and everything. Finally, I just was like, I give up. I'm just going to have this bald spot forever. I stopped wearing my hair in ponytails and in buns because it was a lot easier to notice the spot. I was feeling really discouraged and really pissed off because it was that time where like everybody was wearing buns and looking so cute and I couldn't wear a bun because I had a freaking bald spot. So I didn't know what to do so I decided, okay, let me just try this hair affinity and see what's up and actually I was quite surprised by the results. So I took a before photo before taking the pills and then I think about a month later I took an after photo and I was so happy to see that the bald spot was actually getting hair again. Now a lot of people say well if you had just waited over time with the other stuff you were using perhaps that was helping. But no, I was using that stuff for months and I did not see any growth. The minute I started using Hair Affinity, that particular area started to grow in and I was amazed by it. I was just stunned. I was like, I couldn't believe it. Now it was so strange because I was looking at myself every day and I didn't see it in the mirror, but once I compared and saw the before and after photos, I realized like, I've come a long way and I was so excited um, to continue taking these pills. Pill supplement contains things like vitamin A, vitamin C, biotin, which are all really good for you for your hair, your nails, and your skin. So I ran this across my dermatologist and he saw nothing wrong with it. It's very important that when you take something like a hair supplement or something new, you consult your doctor to make sure that it's beneficial for you health-wise, that you're not gonna have any side effects, especially if you're on any other type of medication. You wanna make sure first that it's okay for you to take these things and I found out that it was. Obviously the plus side of this is that your hair is going to be better. Um, I did notice, of course, that the bald spot started growing. Did I notice a whole lot of length? I don't think I did. I mean, obviously my hair was growing, but was it growing faster than the rate that it usually grows? I'm still not sure. Um, and I think if you have long hair or thick hair already, it's a little bit harder to tell than someone who has short hair or thin hair. It's easier for them to see the difference. So the best way for you to basically see the difference is to take a before and after photo. It's one of the easiest ways. And they sell shirts, I believe, with like the inches lines. And those are good for you too because that can really give you an idea of whether or not your hair has been growing. Did I notice an increase in thickness? Yes, and I think that's kind of what I would rather have than like super long hair. I have always just wanted to have like a lot of hair, just a lot of thickness to it, um, volume, especially when I wear my hair curly. So I think that that was the most beneficial part for me is that my hair was thicker. Um, I've been natural for about almost like 10 years now. And when I was starting out transitioning from having a permed hair to natural hair, I noticed that my hair in the beginning was very thick, I mean very thin, um, because of perming it over time. Now it's gotten a lot thicker. And when I used the hair affinity, it even got more thicker, like really, really, especially when I was washing my hair, I could really, really feel it and I could see new growth. So if you have thin hair or if your hair is prone to shedding, which 
I will also say this product is great for that because my hair was shedding like crazy. I just, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a time where I was really stressed out or I was eating something I wasn't supposed to be, but my hair was shedding and it's really annoying because it's like every day I'm like, oh, more hair, more hair all over the floor. It's just something. And I went to go see a doctor about it, took blood tests, nothing wrong with me, just my hair was shedding like crazy. But I started taking this biotin, or I'm sorry, the hair affinity, and my hair stopped shedding, the, the shedding like completely, I mean obviously your hair is still going to shed, but it completely like did a 360, it didn't shed as much at all, and my hair was getting thicker, and it was getting a little bit longer. So one of the side effects to taking hair affinity, which a lot of people have talked about online, is the fact that you could get breakouts. And that's scary, especially for someone who already has issues with their skin. It might not be something you want to mess with. Um, you've worked so hard to get your skin under control, and all of a sudden you're taking these hair pills and you're breaking out again and you're going to freak out. Or someone who never was prone to breakouts and all of a sudden you're going to get a breakout. So you want to take precautions. That's why I suggest, one, you buy the one month supply so you can see how your skin reacts to taking this product. I honestly think it's a case by case thing. I don't think that I can tell you, oh, I did or didn't get breakouts and that you are or aren't. I think it depends on your body, your skin, who you are. So you won't know until you try. So um, I suggest buying a one month supply so you can kind of see how it goes and then go from there. I have a friend who took it for a month since she got breakouts and she quit. Um, I did it for the first month, I didn't get breakouts. So it really depends. Now my second month, I did notice an increase in breakouts, though they were only occurring during that time of the month. So I wasn't sure if it was that or the pills or a combination of both. So I read online, there are two things that you could do in order to prevent gaining breakouts while you're on this pill. The first thing is to drink lots of water. You should be drinking lots of water anyway, because water is good for you, it's great for your skin, and it's great for your hair. So you wanna drink about eight of these um, 16 fluid ounce bottles of water every day if you can drink a gallon of water every day that's ideal like you want to try to get at least a gallon of water in your system just to flush out all those toxins keeps your hair your skin your nails everything healthy but it also will help you during the time that you're taking your fin and need to prevent you from getting breakouts so that's number one. Number two is to take a multivitamin. So I purchased these adult gummy multivitamins. There's 90 in here. They taste like gummy bears. You just pop two in your mouth a day and you're good to go. It kind of, for some reason, helps um, with whatever's in here to prevent you from getting breakouts. So those are the two things that I do while I'm on hair affinity. Multivitamins, water. These combinations should prevent you from getting breakouts if you are gonna get it because of hair affinity. So of course, as always, I'm going to leave a link below in case you are interested in purchasing this product. Just keep in mind, you wanna purchase it from either the site itself or from a certified retailer. You don't wanna purchase these from like the corner store or some random online shop because you don't know what's in it and you don't know if it's the real product. So just make sure that you're purchasing it from a certified retailer or the actual website. A one month supply I believe is $24, the two month supply is about $48. Like I said, I highly suggest you purchase the one month just to make sure that it works well with your skin, you're actually going to like it before you invest in a two month supply because there's so many people that do and then don't like it and then try to sell it. And no one's really trying to buy pills from like, it's kind of a little sketchy. So you just want to make sure that you purchase it from a certified retailer and that you purchase, I think, a one month supply. Or if you have a friend that's wanting to start the pills too, why not split the first month supply and then see how you guys both like it. That way it's even cheaper than $24, it's just like $12. And then you guys can move forward and then purchase separately the two month supply. So that's another option that you can do if you're quite not sure if you really want this or not. Well guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments regarding my experience with Herfinity, feel free to ask me below. You can follow me on Instagram at lovejonesy to see more photos of my hair and uh, just see my daily life. And of course, um, please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Uh -huh, honey.